first scrimmage of the fall, I guess, overall, how do you think it went? Yeah, pretty pretty good overall, you know. I think we had uh, three three uh, penalties overall with ones, twos, and threes, and we had two turnovers, you know, the, the big one off the tip kind of ball in the red zone. Um, that's kind of the biggest negative of the day, but overall, um, I'd have to look at it exactly, but I think we got points almost every time we went down there except for two today. So, uh, felt good about just moving the ball downfield, good run, run pass balance, uh, pretty good day. It seemed like spring game wasn't exactly what you wanted, I guess. How have you kind of seen things progress up to this point now? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think Bailey kind of, especially Bailey that day, had a, had a just a rough day. You know, if you watch this uh, every practice that spring, you know, he didn't really have days like that. Um, and the, the spring game, you know, clearly we didn't, didn't come out the way we wanted it to. Um, but at the same time, you know, that's kind of how spring ball and fall camp go. You know, you want to see a battle back and forth to where defense wins some days, offense wins some days, wins some get, uh, days, because at the end of the day, you want to have a complete football team. And, and that's kind of how uh, fall camp spring ball should go. Um, but overall, I just think we're getting better. You know, the, the, the more familiarity with the offense, with the guys knowing it now, and, and kind of my expectations and how it works, um, we're just going to continue to get better, I think. Uh, Coach, this is, uh, you know, you've spent multiple years with uh, Bailey at the quarterback, and uh, Coach Helton here in the media today mentioned uh, his high character and his, uh, uh, his leadership qualities. You know, how big is that for other guys in this new system, just to buy in with uh, how uh, committed he is into the system and his leadership qualities? Yeah, I think one of the most important things you can look at uh, as of late was, I'm not sure exactly who interviewed him, but if you look at what Antoine Kincaid had to say about him yesterday, you know, you're talking about a defensive leader, um, talking about how much he respects him and, and you know, how much better he's making the, the team. Um, something like that to me, uh, a guy on the other side of the ball, I mean, that's, that's about as good as it gets, you know, so. Um, but yeah, his, his leadership, you know, just his confidence, you know, he, he knows what he's doing, he's familiar with the offense. Um, him and I kind of see on the same wavelength, you know, going on year four, so he understands what I like, what I don't like, what to get to, um, all that stuff. So, you know, I think having confidence uh, at that leadership level, you know, as quarterback, the team kind of goes as you go a lot of the time. So if you walk out there and you're confident, um, that's going to uh, also breathe confidence in your teammates. So I think that's, that's just very important for the quarterback position. So, Coach, you mentioned on media day that we know that uh, Zach is going to be the starter and now the competition turns to who's going to be the backup. Um, how do you kind of assess Carson, some, some of those other guys' performances throughout the game? Yeah, you know, they've all been kind of battling it out, um, you know, just, just trying to split the reps kind of as evenly as I can. And, you know, that was about the first few, few days. And now we've kind of shrunk back on a couple of those guys. Uh, Drew Zalby and, and Carson Baker right now are kind of battling, uh, you know, as well with Darius Ocean and Chance McDonald as well. Um, you know, Grady Robeson's kind of doing a lot of different things for us right now as well. He's kind of helping out with some special teams, getting a few snaps at quarterback, getting some snaps at wide receiver. Um, so he's kind of doing some different stuff. So, um, you know, the big thing is we've got about four more days of actual fall camp until we get into like mock game week situations. Um, so we, we've really got to keep battling it out because that, that number two uh, spot's still kind of for grabs. Something new, guys, especially offensively. What have you seen out of some of the MS today's scrimmage you guys had, actually a last scrimmage? What's worse than those guys showing you so far? Yeah, man, you know, I really like our team. You know, we, as you guys know, that it's a lot of new pieces compared to last year. We also have some guys that were here last year, uh, you know, really making big plays. You know, Malachi Corley today on the, on the jet toss, you know, took 175 yards, first play of, this, uh, of the deal. So um, guys like that, you know, David Davis came up with some big plays today. Um, you know, all those guys, man. Offensive line, we've got some new face on the offensive line. We're really coming along. Um, you know, they're really gelling together, which is important. Um, you know, Adam Cofield, awesome back. Uh, I'm really running the ball well for us. You know, we, we, we've honestly got too many guys to name them all, but um, really, really like where we're at right now. I think we've got playmakers, um, you know, on the outside, tied in. You, know, you, you saw freshman River Helms catch a touchdown on a two-minute drill right there at the end. Um, so it, it was a good day, and I'm you know, just excited about the, the use of this team and, and all those new faces, gelling with the guys that we've had, uh, that the coaching staff had before. Anything else for Coach? Um, I guess uh, in, uh, you mentioned some of the new guys. Uh, you know, you had uh, Carruthers and uh, Wilson transfer in here uh, recently. You know, how have they? What have you seen from them uh, during the camp period so far? Yeah, you know, they they both made some solid plays. Um, you know, they just got here, and so there was more of a learning curve for those guys just getting here, jumping straight into ball. Um, so the, the reps for them probably have been a little bit less than maybe some other new faces, just because they're learning the new system where other guys have been here. You know, at least throughout the summer, if not throughout the spring as well. Um, but you saw D'Angelo Wilson today again. You know, he, he came up with a couple really big plays for us today. Crothers had a couple really nice runs on third and short. Um, you know, just moving the chains for us. I'm really excited about those two guys, and I think they're going to be big, uh, big playmakers for us in the future. Uh, and uh, I guess like 
one last question here is, uh, I guess, like, how do you plan to implement the run game? Especially, like, uh, you know, preconceived notion is, like, you're going to bring in a heavy pass offense. You know, how do you plan to implement some of the run game? And uh, are going to use some, like, the, some of the, like, short quick passes to kind of, uh, you know, get the run game going and stuff? Yeah, you know, once again, I've said it before, we kind of have, a, I have a, the, the notion that, hey, I'm never going to run the ball, uh, which is false. You know, at the end of the day, I want to do what, what wins football games, what's, you know, what scores touchdowns. Um, once again, we've been, we've been mentioning three or four of our running backs. We've got really good running backs. We've got a good offensive line. Um, the, the tradition of running the football here with Coach Helton and, and the offensive line guys and all that, it's been here for two years going on three now. That really helped us as well. Um, we're going to be able to run the ball. You know, I'm also a believer, hey, get your playmakers the ball in space, which I think we saw us do that today. And, you know, I tell the quarterbacks, hey, there's nothing easier than throwing a, a ball behind the line of scrimmage and then letting them go get 50 for you. You know, so there's nothing wrong with that either. So at the end of the day, we're going to try to get our playmakers ball in their hands. And we're going to run the football a lot more, I think, than people think we will.